For the past three months, school zones like this one have been virtually empty. No students, no crossing guards. But that's all changing as thousands of students head back to school. There's important information that everyone needs to know to keep our children safe. With me to talk about that is Officer Toby Erler from the Phoenix Police Department. What's the most important tip that you want motorists to know about? Well, Paula, uh, good morning. Yeah, good morning. What we'd like to see the motorist do as they approach a school zone or enter a school zone is please abide by the speed limits. The speed limits are exact and they are 15 miles an hour. That seems to be the biggest infraction uh, that we might encounter with a motorist within a school zone is speeding. Okay, so zero tolerance for speeding. By definition of the statute, yes, zero tolerance. If you're going 16, you potentially could be cited. What about passing? We've been seeing a lot of passing this morning. Yeah, on a multi-lane school zone like we have here, uh, if you pass, you're in violation. Uh, that also is very expensive citation. It is a problem with these multi-lane school zones as well. So once you're in the school zone and you're established your lane position, you shouldn't pass another vehicle. Officer Erler, we see a lot of people dropping their kids off wherever they decide to drop them off. Yeah, Talk about that. Absolutely. Uh, where people drop kids off sometimes would be for their convenience and their convenience alone, the parents. Uh, each school has a designated traffic plan that the parents should be notified of and should follow. It makes the ingress, if you will, or the drop-off time and the pickup time after school much easier for the folks at the schools. Okay. What about the penalties, tough penalties, if people do violate these rules? Yeah, if you're passing in a school zone or you're caught speeding in a school zone by one of our traffic officers or patrol officer, you're looking at about $270 plus uh, court assessed fees. Very, very expensive. That's not a good thing. No, it's not. We need to save our money as well. Everybody does. Okay, thank you so much, Officer Toby Yerler. And we just want everybody to be safe. Have a good school year. Be safe. No accidents. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Paula Moore reporting for Phoenix Police.